All right, everyone, thank you for joining us for this week's episode. We're here with two more players. Uh, today, we're here with senior tailback number four, Kaysen Dickerson, also joined by number 14, quarterback Caden Aaron. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Sir, glad to be here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about this True North concept. This is the framework the coaching staff has established for the year. Of course, True North is the single standard that unites everything you do with the program on and off the field, and so we're thankful to be able to discuss that. Uh, one of the aspects is always having a, a clear vision of the end in mind. Kaysen, what do you hope is true about your career here at Oakman once this season is over? You know, with football, there's two things. It's what you do on the field and off the field. It correlates with what you do off the field is how you're going to perform on the field. And whenever I'm finished, I want everyone to know that I did all I could on the field, but not also off the field to help my teammates, help my community, just be as good as we can. Okay. Very good. Caden, what about you? You're more on the front end of your now, your varsity career. What do you hope's true by the time your career is over? What's the end in mind for you? Just to be able to become like a better man, just in general, be able to build the program up. And in the end goal, it's always just to be better. Okay, that's great. Let's move on to talk a little bit more about this senior class. Kaysen, you've grown up together. Last hurrah on the field. Talk to us about how you've grown together and some memories that you may have from that. Like you said, we've always played football together since we've since we were like six years old, we played toy ball, we played middle school, we probably played, I don't even know how many football games together, yeah. but that's just on the field. Like I said, on the field, off the field. We've spent so much time together. We've became just like this over the years, and I'm excited to play this last year of football and see where it takes us. Hope we get exactly what we want at state championship. Okay. Caden, what about you? What's it like playing for and with the seniors? They're the, your leaders on the team. You're part of the sophomore class. What's it like to play with these guys? They just make everything fun. Like, they bring the excitement out in practice. They are very good leaders. They're just able to make everything fun. Games, locker room, just everything. All right, that's great. One more question as we talk about this end in mind concept. How do you see what you're doing here on the field, your time here as a student at Oakman, part of this community even, how are those things helping you for life after graduation? For the football aspect, we always push this one thing is no matter what's going on, you have to keep going. you got to fight to stay in it. You can't give up. If you're winning by 21, by 35, you got to keep putting it on them. If you're losing by 40, you got to keep fighting to get back in the game, and that's how it is in life. You can't just give mm. up just because things aren't going your way. Mm. That's great. Fantastic. Caden, what about you? How is it preparing you for life after graduation? Preparing all the adversity. There's just going to be a lot of adversity in life, and you just got to fight through it. Okay. Very, very good. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time and for all that you do as a part of this program and for these few minutes together this morning. Be sure that you're out to support these guys, the rest of the team, on Friday night at midfield. Guys, let's look at the camera and close this out. One, two, three. Go, Go Wildcats. Wildcats. I want to take a look at some clips. Um, from Friday night's uh, 29 win over Cordova. Um, just a, a fantastic night. A couple of things to note on the game uh, that were really impactful for, uh, in all three phases. Defensively, one one thing, we, we had a game plan all week for certain things, and, and Cordova came out in a different look. And so I thought our defensive coaches, Coach Painter, Coach War, Coach Duke, those guys did a phenomenal job of making adjustments on the sideline. They came out in a wishbone look, which we – you know, we haven't prepared for, haven't seen in years. And for them to be able to get over on the sideline and get that fixed and adjusted, I was really proud of those guys and our players for handling that adjustment. Um, and special teams, I thought Trace Cable punted the ball extremely well. You know, the punt is one of the biggest explosive plays in the game. It's always 30, 35 yards plus. Um, and he gave us a bunch of 30, 35 yard plays where we flipped the field and just thought he did a fantastic job there. And and offensively, kind of a defining moment in the game was the 16-play drive to finish it there uh, where we got the ball with about a minute and 51 left in the third quarter and didn't give it back to them in two minutes till two minutes and 15 seconds left in the game. They, they ran two plays in the fourth quarter. And so I think that's just a testament to the – uh, our kids' toughness and their ability to finish a game. And, and that drive was really critical in that. We had a couple of big plays in that. But let's look at some cut-ups. 
Okay, here on this first one, we're looking at a fumble caused right here. This is just a great job of, of pursuing the ball. You can see Rick, Rick Johnson down here, the nickel at the bottom of the screen, comes up on the on the quarterback pool. Nice fit, boom, knocks the ball loose. And then Carson Gillen, you're not getting it away from that big fella. So big job, big play in the game. Um, you know, gave us a chance to kind of get a stop. This is where the game's still in limbo. You know, this is this is kind of one of those pivotal points in the game here, second and six, quarterback pulls. Great job by Rick right here, fitting on the run. Boom. Carson getting in there, recognizing the loose ball and getting on it. Uh, this is a late in the game play. Uh, we're kind of out of order on our clips, but that's okay. Um, this kind of sealed the game for us. They're in a sprint out deal. Logan Tarvin with a great pick and gets his feet down in bounds. Um, and this right here kind of sealed the game for us. Boom. Um, and allowed us to, you know, to, to go in and run the clock out and get in victory formation. Really proud of this young man right here. You see number 78 coming off the edge at, up through the – off the edge at the top. First, Aaron Hanley gets great pressure on the quarterback, just penetrates the, the protection here from a two technique. Boom, beats a guy off the snap. But Mason Love comes in and cleans up the, the pass there at the end of the play for a kid that hadn't played football, just a big sack for him. Great job of, of attacking and executing the play. Let's get to some offensive clips here. Um, this is this is on our drive that we scored our first touchdown on here on a fourth and three around midfield. Uh, you'll see Caden does a great job of recognizing – they're, they're playing tra trap here with the, the nickel. He's going to play hard into the flat. And so we have a curl route coming behind him. Caden does a great job of getting that ball out on time. Boom, Luke's able to catch it, split the defense. Um, and we kind of make fun of Luke because he's got a house that. But uh, anyway, just a big play and a great job by Luke catching the football, getting the ball vertical upfield. A couple of plays later on that same drive, we'll run a stretch play here. Tyler just finds the grass. What a night Tyler had, 130-something yards rushing, just really, really came up big in a lot of situations. Um, here's another big run. This is the one that put us up 14, 14 to six, 14 to nine. Okay, on the cutback here, we're running stretch. They over-pursue. Tyler does a good job of getting it cut back and then just takes it to the, to the end zone. Seems like Tyler's always just fast enough. Just a really great job there. This play here I want to point out, this is not a touchdown play, but this is a fourth and 15 where we're trying to finish the game. We're up 14 to nine at this point. There's probably two minutes and 30, 40 seconds left, uh, possibly kick field goal. But, you know, we just want to tr try to throw a ball up and have faith in Rick that he would go up and catch it. Caden does a good job of getting the ball out. You'll see a shift a couple of times, maybe to get him to jump, get us a little closer. Um, good ball placement, ball away from the defender. And Rick with just a great back shoulder grab there. I'm going to show that again. Does a good job of not drifting early, getting away from the defender there, boom, and making a great uh, catch on the fade ball. Um, just a lot of good things right here. This is one that was, should have been on the defensive clips. That's not. But this is a, right before the half, we were able to execute a goal line stand, forced them to kick the field goal, which made it 9-6 at the half. But those points were crucial. Okay, and you're going to see here just a great job of our defense. This is on the third down play, quarterback run, uh, Trace just fitting and everybody else rallying to make a tackle. So that that's just some huge plays in the game. Again, great night for our kids, and I was proud to see them turn the corner um, and really finish the game the way that they did. Okay, Coach, so we are game number three upon us, second consecutive road game, and it opens region play, so talk to us about the importance of now region games upon us. Yeah, you know, in high school football, you get 10 games. That's what you're guaranteed, and they're all important. You want to prepare the same way, build a routine. Um, all of them have value. We don't want to, want to put one ahead of the other, but there's no doubt about it. When you get in the region play, uh, those are the games that count toward making the playoffs, and so the significance of those games is a little higher because that's just kind of an unspoken goal and expectation in our program is to get in the playoffs. We've done it 12 years in a row here, and we certainly want to continue that streak. And so this is the first step in giving yourself that opportunity. So we're excited about the challenge and, and uh, look forward to getting into region play. Okay, that first game is at midfield, midfield Patriots. Talk to us about that matchup. Sure, Coach Isaac, uh, Rod Isaac is the coach there. He's been there a long time. He's had some teams where they've taken, you know, he's taken them to late postseason runs. Typically, they're going to be a physical, uh, athletic team that have a couple of guys that can score the ball from anywhere on the field, and, and so they're dangerous. And that's a, a, a point of emphasis for our defense is, you know, we got to limit explosives. we got to make you snap it again. And when you make teams snap the ball again in high school football, you know, typically they're going to shoot themselves in the foot. They're either going to get a penalty, turnover, negative play, and, and you really have the advantage if you can do that. Now, if you give up a big chunk play, it's not a lot you can do all that. And on offense, we've got to be ready to capitalize when we get our – we've got to be opportunistic. We've got to take advantage of the opportunities that we get. We got to catch big balls that we throw off play action. Um, 
when we get an opportunity to crease a, a, a run, we've got to be ready to do that, and we've got to hit it and score it. Um, so that's kind of the deal for us is limiting explosives on, on defense and on offense be opportunistic and take advantage of the opportunities they give us. All right, hope to see you on the road at midfield, 7 o'clock p.m. on Friday. Contact the school here at Oakman if you have any questions about that. Coach, close us out. Yep, go Wildcats.